12 year old student studying in Bayside Secondary School, currently in 6th grade. Ever since I was little, I found out that I've always been fascinated with the differences of society in society then and now, driving me to explore how society changes and why society nowadays isn't as what it was a decade ago. Now, let's jump to the topic. People change, and so does the society that they live in. The problem is that the society that our grandparents experienced with our parents isn't the same as when our parents experienced with us. Nowadays, young people are exposed to two major social problems that affect their life negatively. These social problems are drugs and violence, and these problems are thought of as common. Even though one doesn't want to be exposed to these problems, it's impossible because it's everywhere. If one goes to a party, one runs the risk of meeting people doing drugs or fighting. Why do people do this? People do this to rebel or to fit in the society that they live in. Others do it to prove to others they are cool. These two social problems walk hand in hand, even though one can exist without another. Drug use is an increasing problem among teenagers in today's society. Most drug use begins in the preteen and teenage years. These years most crucial in the maturation process. During these years, adolescents are faced with difficult tasks of discovering their self-identity, clarifying their sexual roles, searching and searching for independence, learning to cope with authority, and finding goals that would give them their lives meaning. Drugs are always there. Adolescents are curious and vulnerable, and there's always pure pressure to experiment. The use of drugs by teenagers is a combination of factors between pure pressure, curiosity, and availability. Drug addiction in turn leads to depression and suicide. One of the most important reasons of teenage drug use is because they want to fit in. No one wants to be the only one not participating or to be left out. So sometimes they make careless decisions like taking drugs to cover up their insecurities. They don't think about how drugs can isolate you from your friends and family. They can't look past that one party to see how things could turn out. Maybe they just don't know the person around them who aren't using drugs and can't see how good their life is without drug use. Teens who are surrounded by a friend group that does drugs and smokes will most likely fall into the same path. Now, this increases amount, the amount of drug use. The best method for a teen to deal with this is to find another friend group, one that doesn't involve themselves with drugs so that teens will not feel the need to do drugs to fit in. You become the person you associated with. Another contribution to drug use is out of curiosity. Curiosity can lead to people doing the wrong things because they want to try out as they are bored. But people who made these kind of decisions usually find out and eventually will find out that drugs are really a waste and are painful. They don't change the situation. They just might make the situation worse. Social issues cannot be solved with a snap of a finger. Dealing with intense drug use in teenagers needs the collective effort of parents, teens, and a society as a whole. As a society, we must do our duty to teach the new generation of what is right and wrong in the world, and only then can we progress a peaceful planet. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.